Hey guys, Delo304 here, and I am doing a video about my server because I finally am going to get it back up and running like it should be. Um, so I got my processor today uh, that I ordered off eBay two days ago, which was extremely fast shipping, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it off camera just to um, get the uh, thing out of here. Let me see. Uh, so I basically what happened if you didn't see my previous video on this. Um, I, uh, bought this server a long, a while ago. You should know about that if you're subscribed to me, but, um, I bought this server, and then, uh, I updated the BIOS on it, and then all of a sudden it gave me this message that the processors weren't compatible, or, like, not the same, like, the clock speeds are different, and, uh, so I basically just kind of gave up on it, I tried pretty much everything, uh, so I gave up on it, I, it sat under my desk for a month, and I didn't mess with it at all, but, uh, turns out I never even checked the printing on the CPUs because I really didn't know where it was because it wasn't as obvious as like on a socket CPU. So I didn't really know, uh, but then someone told me where it was. Uh, it was, um, I'll show you on the CPU, but uh, basically the pro one was 100, one was, uh, the clock speeds weren't the same on the CPUs. So uh, that's uh, why it didn't work. And I'm not sure why it worked with the older BIOS. Why? I guess it was like modded or something. But uh, hold on. All right. So um, basically, one was 450 megahertz and the other was uh, 350 or uh, 500. So yeah, it wouldn't work. So I needed another 500, and that's what I have right here in my hands. There it is. A, this is the exact same processor that's in there right now. So yeah, there we go. Heat pipe. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and install it, and we're gonna um, you know boot it up and. She is. So, uh, I have to have the camera all the way behind me as far as it can go, so I have to move it really quick so I can get out of the way of it. Ugh, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to twist the server uh, where it used to go. I'll go ahead and flip the display around so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, so, hi people. I'm going to get down on the floor and we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and do some CPU swappage. So let me go ahead and take this and Put it over here, a little bit, so you can still get... Now, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this front cover off, if I can. It uh, seems like this thing is getting increasingly harder to take off every time I take it off, so I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. And you. Let's go ahead and remove this. There we go. So we have all our hard drive bays right here. Uh, so you can see that right here. We got uh, six nine gig hard drives uh, for a total of uh, thirty six, no, not fifty four gigabytes of space, which is cool. Uh, we got our CD drive, our floppy, you know, stuff like that. Uh, go ahead and back this up. So let me go ahead and take the side panel off and let's get working on this thing. See, so yeah, I got the five hundred megahertz right here. There's another five hundred in here. Then I have to take the four fifty out of here, and I'm not going to use it. I'm just unscrewing the screws. It's going to be kind of a long video, so if you, uh, you're going to want to watch it if you want to, you know, see it. Hi, what's up? <coughs> okay. So I got the side panel off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the computer. This thing is the most massive computer I've ever owned. Uh, excluding that one compact pro line that I had a couple of years back. You guys never saw that thing. But it was twice the size of this thing, which is, I couldn't even move it, it was so big. Uh, so yeah, uh, which one is the 500? I'm going to get a flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to see which one's the 500, so we'll take that one out. That's the 450, so we're taking... Ah, I know you guys can't see, but we're taking this CPU out right here. Uh, it's going to be kind of a boring video, but, you know, whatever. Alright. So there's the 450. I don't know if you can see that. If you can, then that's cool. But if you can't, then whatever. But yeah, there's the 450 megahertz. We're going to replace it with the 500. There's another 500 already in here, so that should work just great. Uh, let's see. Now we have two 500 megahertz slot one CPUs. There we go. 
So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get. It, it, uh, bleh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing. Well, I guess I can take the camera off and show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. Uh, you guys can't see very well from the tripod up there, so yeah. All right, so here it is. Turn the light on on the camera. Um, so yeah, so here's the server all opened up. In here we got our two processors. They're both 500 megahertz now. If you couldn't see that before, that's that's what it was right there, 450. So this won't work. So yeah, now they're the same, and it should work. This thing has 512 megabytes of RAM, and like I said, all those hard disks and 500 megahertz processors. Like I said a million times, it's got all these expansion cards down here. It's a pretty sweet little system. No, little, I, that's used very loosely. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna hook it all up, and then we're gonna boot it up. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I have the server plugged in and everything. Well, it's, the server itself is plugged in, but all the ports are, or all the peripherals. So, uh, yeah, I have the Acer monitor up there. Yes, the crappy Acer monitor. I'm going to be using it for this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and put my tripod up a little. Sorry about this, guys. Alright, let me just put it up in a bit. Alrighty. Alright, so there we go. Now we can move it around and a bunch of crap. So there's the server. I'm going to point the thing at the Acer monitor so you guys can see what the hell's going on here. Bring it a little closer. You guys can see what's going on. There's me. Hi. So yeah, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Alright, so the server's now plugged in. The mouse is plugged in. We got our compact keyboard right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with this thing. See if it'll turn on and work. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button now. This is going to be suspenseful. Building suspense. Yeah. Okay. Um, two 500 megahertz processors. Boom. There we go. Press Control Alt Enter for system. Set. Oh, well, we're two. System worn firmware is out of date. Yeah, I need to update the firmware. I should have that on this floppy. But I'm not sure. Time of day not set. Please run setup program. That's all expectable, but it's working. It works now. Great. We have two 500 megahertz processors. Yeah. It's not stuck at that stupid screen anymore. Woo. Alrighty. Well, we just about fixed it. Uh, let's see. We're going to boot it up. We're going to see if it'll boot into server 2000, which is what it's got on. Um, I do need to upgrade the firmware, so that's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I'm going to do anyway. Two logical drives. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Oh, logical drives. Okay, never mind. There we go. Press Control A for SCSI utility. No thanks, I'll pass. SCSI BIOS not installed. Well, this thing's gonna need. I remember now. This thing's gonna need a little work before it gets up and running how it's supposed to be. You gotta upgrade the firm or firmware, fix the SCSI BIOS. Uh, tries the F1 key, to F2 to run setup. So there we go. We have two 500 megahertz processors. Great. Sweet. Okay. Um, time of date. What the hell day is it? It's the 12th. I'll just do the day for now. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Okay. Fine. 20. That's six o'clock. So it's five. I think. I'm kind of, oh wait. No. 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 Wait. 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 17. Right. Damn it. Okay, uh, 509. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, okay, whatever. I really don't care. October 12. Nope, 12. There we go. 12. Nope, 12. There we go. Whatever, I don't care. I probably didn't even save that. I don't give a shit. Okay, we're loading with server 2000. It's back up and running. Woo! Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the. ESN on this thing, or uh, I think that's what it's, no wait, I'm getting confused with cell phones, I think, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I'm going to upgrade the firmware on this thing, let's just leave it at that, I forget what the abbreviation is, uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to upgrade the firmware, I'm going to get this all thing up and running it, and I, hopefully I'm going to run it as a game server eventually, I don't know how well it will serve GTA SAMP, but um, I'll figure it out, uh, if I can't, then oh well, but whatever, I got a working server now, I can do whatever I want with it. The main thing is that the damn thing turns on, which it does, it's loading server 2000 for the first time in a month. 
Well, for the first day, the first day I freaking broke the thing. Well, I didn't, I didn't break it, but I updated the BIOS and it went. Oh yeah, we're loading server 2000. Sweet. I forget what the freaking password is up for this thing. I remember I had problems with that when I first got the or first installed server. I didn't know the freaking password, even though I thought I set one. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, press control, alt, delete. I'm gonna try the password I think I set up with it. Nope. Nope. Oh god, I think I had this problem last time. I think I had this problem last time. Come on. Come on, please. Damn it! What did I do? Maybe I had the caps log on. I remember I had, that's why. Oh, yeah, okay. So I, I had the caps lock on when I set the password for this thing. So it's in all caps. There we go. We logged in. Um, this is the only server in the network. Select the third option. I will configure the server lately. later. I'm going to install server 2003 on this thing, so it really doesn't even matter. The main thing is, is it works. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go into properties, even though it probably won't tell us diddly squat. Windows 2000 doesn't report clock speed for some reason. So, uh, yeah, there it is. 523 megabytes of RAM, which is 512. Uh, okay, so, yeah, the main thing is, is the server works. So, yeah, so that's that. Server's back up and running. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys later.